Hey friends, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious lasagna soup tonight using all of these ingredients. This is not a traditional lasagna soup. I'm using Italian sausage in it. Let's start by taking this Johnsonville Italian sausage and here's how I like to do it. I like to pinch the end of these and squeeze it out and it turns into a perfect meatball. Just keep on pinching the end, squeezing it out. You never really hardly have to touch that meat, just the casing and you get these perfect size meatballs. I'm just going to turn my heat on a medium heat and let those get a little bit brown in the bottom of the pan. Now watch this, once you have half of that done, you're just gonna flip it over and you're gonna squeeze the rest out of the other side. This is so easy. I love to do this with Italian sausage. I've actually done this with brats and made brachos, like nachos, but with brats. Anyway, see our bottom of our pan is now lined and I like to add about a quarter cup of water and let those just start simmering. And then they have a nice shape and you can use a spoon and push them around without them breaking or turning into ground sausage. And then once these are starting to cook, we're gonna get one small chopped onion, add that in and stir it up. We're gonna get that nice and tender. And then if you've watched any of my other videos, you guys know I love this garlic from Trader Joe's. Each one of these frozen little squares is a clove of garlic. So let's pop out three cloves. And then we're gonna add in three cups of beef broth and one to two cups of water, depending on how brothy you like your soup. You can always add that at the end. Then we're gonna add a can of stewed tomatoes, which I did dice up, and a can of diced tomatoes and then one can of tomato sauce. The only seasoning I put in here was Italian seasoning because with the garlic and the onion and the sausage and all the tomatoes, it really didn't need much more. Certainly season it to your taste, but I thought this was perfect. Now, while that's coming to a boil, we're gonna make this cheese topping. And I just used about two cups of this ricotta cheese and then about a quarter cup of this grated Parmesan. Now you could certainly put in a mozzarella if you'd like that as well. And the only seasoning I put in this was some garlic salt. And then we're just gonna mix that all together and that's gonna be the topping to our soup. And you guys gotta stay tuned till the very, very end till you see what my husband did. He is something else. <laughs> But anyway, let's get back to this soup and we're gonna add in our pasta. Now I use this Mafalda pasta. It looks like tiny little lasagna noodles. Now you can certainly use some lasagna and just break it into pieces, but I thought this was so much cuter and fun to do and it worked so well. I got this at Trader Joe's, but I have seen it at my local grocery store also. I put in about two cups of this and now really all we need to do is stir that together and let that simmer for about 15 minutes until those are nice and tender. Now it's done. Look at that nice tender noodles, big meatballs of sausage, all of those tomatoes, such a rich tomatoey broth. This soup was so, so good. My husband just loved it. Now watch how we add the topping of this cheese. I just used a small scoop and added three little balls to the top of my soup. This is an impressive soup if you're having guests. It's delicious and it looks really pretty. It's a great alternative way to eat lasagna also. I had a little bit of fresh parsley laying around so I did use that just to be a little fancy and look at how beautiful this soup is. Now I'm gonna get a spoon out and show you how nice that ricotta cheese just melts into your soup when you give it just a little bit of a stir. That made it oh so creamy and delicious, a great garlicky flavor. Mm, look at this soup, so, so good. Now you guys, look at my husband. Look at how he served himself. You think he's got enough cheese? <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody.